but you need a chalk or anything to mark on the fabric just be sure that you're seeing what you're marking sha, so you don't go and cut what i don't know what i did not send you to cut oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Silem. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. If I do it now, subscribe. I'm waiting. Do it. Subscribe. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a jacket. I have made two other um, outfits from this same fabric and it's just one and a half yards. But I was able to make um, three um, items from it. I made a wrap top. I made an off shoulder top. If you want to see how I made those two clothing items, check my previous videos. But I'm going to put a link for the uh, wrap top right here because it's my favorite of all of them. And uh, this is the fabric I'm using for this um, jacket. It's a high-low jacket actually, and I really love it. And I love the fabric as well. It's a thin scuba fabric. This is one of my favorite fabrics to use. I really love scuba. I love lycra for some outfits I make, but scuba is still my favorite. Both the thin one and the thick one, I like both of them. Uh, this fabric is a self-finished fabric because it doesn't fray even when you cut it. And it's also a solid fabric. You've heard this a thousand times, but I'm still going to say it because new viewers every day, so I have to explain to them what those two terms mean. But if you've already heard this, just, here it again. A solid fabric is a fabric that there's no clear distinction between the right side and the wrong side. And apart from the fabric you're going to use for this, you also need your scissors, your measuring tape, and your chalk. Me that is talking, I don't have a chalk, but I have to buy one. I don't know why I don't have a chalk. I will buy one. Don't come for me. I will buy a chalk. But you need a chalk. Or anything to mark on the fabric. Just be sure that you're seeing what you're marking, Sha, so you don't go and cut what I don't know, what I did not send you to cut. This is what we're going to be doing today. If you want to see how I make this high-low jacket, definitely keep on watching. But don't forget to check out the wrap top and the off-shoulder top I made with this same fabric. So let's get into the tutorial. This is the fabric I'm using for this DIY. Uh, it's about one and a half yards and I want to make or I made three items from this um, one and a half yards of fabric so that's all I'm doing here I'm trying to make sure that the fabric is shared enough um, shared amongst the three items so I'm trying to make sure that um, I'm gonna share I share the fabric in a way that is going to be enough for the three items I'm looking to make or I already made in this case <laughs> So I'm just making sure that all my everything is nice and smooth. Uh, so actually what I made, the other things I made are I made a wrap top and an off shoulder top from this fabric. So if you want to check that out, definitely um, go check my previous videos because I've already uploaded the um, wrap top I made with this fabric and the um, off shoulder top. So definitely, definitely check it out. Uh, there are also no sew projects as well and they are quite quite easy to make so you want to really you want to see how i did that you i know you want to <laughs> so when you're done with this video my darlings please go and check those other videos thank you so much so i'm just cutting um the fabric right there because i know there's going to be enough so this part here i'm folding this part of the fabric is what i'm go i used for the wrap top and I'm just setting that aside and now for the rest of the fabric the length of this um, um, high-low jacket is 43 inches and that's what I'm marking now so I just made sure that I had that 43 inches um, I just marked that 43 inches along the fabric and now I'm cutting that out Now this part that I'm folding is what I used for the off shoulder top, it's a crop top so that's it. And now this is the outline of my armhole for this high low jacket. Now from the top I'm marking 5 inches, from that point um, across I'm marking 6 inches and then from that 6 in inches mark downwards I'm marking 5.5 inches. And I'm just marking all those points and I'm tracing a line from the first point to the other
just making sure that um, I've traced the lines from one point to the other and now the width of my armhole is three inches and that's what I'm marking now and now I'm just tracing that line and this is the, the line and the overall shape I'm tracing and this is what will serve as my armhole now if your arm circumference is more than 12 inches you can use a width that's greater than 3 inches and a length that's greater than 5.5 um, inches it all depends on your um, measurements so I just made a hole in the center and then I'm just cutting out the um, armhole so I'm making sure that I follow that overall um, shape that I um, sketched on the fabric And this is what I have. 